Hi, so uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, your name, where you are now. Um, hi, I'm Gemma and I'm currently teaching in Year 4 in the pre-prep at Harrow. Um, I was in Year 5 last year and when I first arrived I was in Year 1. Okay, and whereabouts did you work before you came to Harrow? I was working in Smedic in Birmingham and I taught Year 4 and Year 5 there for two years. So I did my NQT year, then another year and then I came over and applied. Okay, so you're a teacher here at Harrow International School. Obviously in the daytime you're teaching with children. But what do you do when you're not at work? Um, there's actually loads to do in Bangkok. Um, so we're about a 30 minute drive from the city centre where you've got um, cinema, shopping, shopping, shopping. And um, um, night out, there's night out as well. So there's, there's lots to do. There's sort of, there's a sea world. There's lots of things and entertaining activities in Bangkok. And, and, and beach so the beach is only two or three hours away you can get to a beach and you can get to a little island in about four hours close to met so yeah weekends are silly okay. <laughs> and how is the weather in thailand and bangkok does uh, it suit you yes it is yeah it's lovely it's it's um sort of it's happy weather it makes you feel good um, not like the grey misery of england um, so at the moment it's dry, it's just coming into dry season, so it's nice and dry and it's a bit cool at the moment, which is nice, although it might only last for one or two days, who knows. Um, we've just finished rainy season, which is pretty rainy, but it's a few months and then back to hot sun. The sun. Yes. So whereabouts do you live? So teaching here at Harrow, do you live on the school site, off the school site? Whereabouts do you live and what sort of house? Um, I still live on site actually, so I chose to stay on site. Um, I've got a two bedroom house, which is um, massive for me, for one person really. Um, it's a nice size living room, di little dining area, kitchen and two bedrooms, and two bathrooms upstairs with an ensuite. Uh, so it's perfect for a single person or a couple really, or even a little baby. Yeah. And is it great living on the school site, very social? or? Yeah, I really, I really like it. It's, I really like being able to literally pop next door and go and see my friends. Or you know, if you've had a busy day at work, you can literally, you know, I, I pop a few doors down and say, "Should we order a pizza? What to put a telly? Um, I'm sort of on a weekday, and it's really good. I, I like being, I like being close to my friends and, and people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and can you live off site if you want to, or does Harrow ask you to live on site? You can, you're asked to live on site um, to begin with, and then you're able to move off site. So I know um, both families and single people choose to move off site for various different reasons, but um, either in town, sort of 30 minutes away, or some people choose to be quite local as well as nice houses locally. Okay, and for your house, do you, does the school pay for the bills of your house, or do you have to pay the bills? Um, don't pay it, there's no rent on the house, but we just pay uh, for water and um, electricity, which only amounts to about equivalent of about £20, £30 a month for me for a sort of a two bedroom single person. Um, and that's it. And then it's just your tea, you pay for your TV, your um, phone, um, but the actual rent of the house. No, that's school, cool. yeah, school. Pays but if, if you lived off site, do you have to pay your own rent or does the school pay for you? Um, you get an allowance. Um, so your allowance sort of it goes towards the cost of uh, say an apartment or a house. So if you choose to live locally, it goes quite far. But if you choose to live in the city or close to the city, then you you will likely need to put some extra money into your pot. Okay, sounds quite nice living conditions. So in the classroom, uh, the curriculum that you teach here. Do you want to explain a little bit about the curriculum and? Yeah, so um, we, we teach the British national curriculum, particularly for maths and literacy. Um, in literacy or English, um, we've really adopted Big Write recently, so we're doing a lot of work with Big Writing and really pushing up the children's writing skills. But we follow the framework, the literacy framework, um, for the rest of our English teaching. And then for maths, we're just about to embark on some Big Maths teaching, but again, we follow the British, uh, the framework, the old framework. Um, Math and then for topic, we sort of we've adapted some of the English curriculum for that and some um, uh, international primary curriculum for that, and we've just adapted it to what the children are interested in and what we think the children are interested in, rather than sticking rigidly with the Victorians, which never happened in Thailand. In Thailand. <laughs> yeah, we're choosing something a bit more relevant. So we're doing young entrepreneurs at the moment, and we're doing Active Planet after the holidays. Oh, very good. And what's different about working in Thailand? in the classroom than it was in England. 
while you worked in England? We've got a big mixture of um, children here, sort of um, uh, international students and Thai students, um, and so we've really, it's really important to cater for the children who have got a lower level of English. So we've got language support teachers here. We were careful about um, the language and um, our language support and making sure that grammar and tense. And so we've got a very big English language focus here. So we, we teach more English lessons, literacy lessons, than we would than we do anything else, really. And your typical day of teaching, sort of how does it start, what time does it start, and throughout the day, how yeah. does it work? Um, I arrive at about seven, just because I like to be organised before my day starts, and um, not everyone does, uh, we need to be here half past, half past seven, but the children come in at 7.40, and uh, bell goes, and then uh, we've got registration until eight, and then we've got um, an eight period day, 40 minutes each period and generally each day for me I have a cut, uh, two, two to four, two, three um, free periods um, where the children go to Thai language or Thai studies, PE, swimming, games, music, ICT. Right. Oh, that sounds quite good. <laughs> and uh, at Harrow School here in Bangkok, uh, do you have to take part in after school activities? And what sort of activities are on offer for you to join? Yeah, we, we offer the children a really big range of activities, so it's really quite open to what you'd like to do really with children if you've got a particular talent. Uh, so for example, I've literally just finished a production for the, for the juniors, we've just done a Christmas Carol. Um, so that's been my activity this term. But everybody's expected to do an activity, um, but there are lots of sporting activities, some more drama life activities, and you can do any activity you want, chess, um, rollerblading, uh, basketball, uh, the swimming, you can join the swimming, uh, help with the swim team. Um, so there's lots of the sports, um, chess club, board games, oh, loads, of really big variety. So if you've got a particular skill in something, it's quite nice where you, you can go, you can, you can lead, lead towards that, lead to do your own activity. And, and how many activities do you do a week? Um, gen one to two, really. To I've two. done two, but um, a lot of people just do one. We do, at the moment, we're doing one a week. Sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I see that Harrow International School, their mission statement is leadership for a better world. How does that work for you? What does that mean within the school? Um, we're really, particularly in the lower school, we're really promoting sort of uh, the children working together, collaborating, um, becoming young leaders, if you like, so working in a team, leading their small team, and then sort of in a larger sense, having a real sense of um, not just themselves, but the sense of uh, people around them. So, um, or how they're going to lead in the future, we do with things like charity work, how can what we do now um, change what, what could happen in the future. So it's really about sort of training them up to be independent, resilient, proactive young people uh, for when they go into second, the secondary school, the prep school and the secondary school and then wherever they might go next. Um, looking at the school calendar, is it the same as if you're working in the UK, the same holidays? Do you have Maybank holiday or do you have Thai holidays? Um, it's, it's similar. Um, we start a bit early, so we start sort of towards the end of August mid to end of August uh, and then we have our October half term we get th uh, for one week and then we get three weeks at Christmas which is great I think because I, I personally go home at Christmas I'll go back to England for Christmas so it's three weeks is a nice time to go back um, and then we have um, an equivalent Easter holiday which in Thailand is actually a Songkran a Thai holiday Songkran holiday so it's not always at the same time as English Easter but it's in April um, we'll have February half term as well so one week in February half term and then we don't get a week in May, we just get a long weekend in May because actually we finish on the 30th or around the 30th of June. Um, but our summer holiday is about seven weeks, so it's, it's a really nice long time to pack your bag and go and see somewhere, go and see somewhere in Asia, which is, which is really good. Uh, when you joined Harrow, was your salary very similar to what it was in the UK? Yes, yeah, it was. Um, and actually because uh, it just goes so much further here because I don't pay rent, um, so that's a massive chunk of savings right there, um, and you know things are, things are cheaper. Not everything's cheaper, but you know, things like you know I can I don't bother cooking particularly during the week. I can just pop across the road and get dinner for about three pounds. Um, you know it's it's so it's it, the cost of living is so much cheaper. Um, and is it true that people have maids? 
Uh, yes, yes it is. I do have a maid. <laughs> I have it. She comes twice a week. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> She's brilliant. <laughs> oh dear. So what, what is quite difficult about, about working at Harrow? Or what is quite difficult about living in Thailand? Um, it's busy. It's no, it's no less busy than than in England. So, sort of, you know, you think, oh, you come to Thailand, you know, it's all relaxed and laid back. But actually, sort of, Harrow is still a very busy place, and that's not a bad thing. It's full of fun stuff and it's full of exciting stuff. But um, that's, I think, it's something you almost expect it to be not as busy as England, but uh, it's as busy. It's the same amount of business as it was um, in England. So this, you know, that all that the all the the marketing and the assessment, that's all the same. So it's, you know, it's still. You don't come to Harrow for a lazy time. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> um, one thing I'd like to ask is about uh, do you have a PDR system um, for professional development and do you have opportunity to go to do your own professional development if you require Yes, yes, so we do have a PDR system, so we just, um, we have uh, sort of we have a meeting with our mentor uh, term one and then we have um, an observation where we set some targets and then actually during our meeting in, uh, after our observation we then have sort of a discussion about what we want what our aims are what our targets are for our sort of own personal development as well so it's a lot it's really focused on us rather than somebody telling us what we can or can't do actually it's focused on what we want to right. um, move forward with and what we want to achieve and what we want to do next sort of in our career yeah. um, and there are there are opportunities it can be difficult to find your own opportunity and not as easy as in England because obviously there's a lot more opportunity there but um, there's a lot of people here there's a lot of staff here that can help with with that um, and yeah. opportunities do do arise here but you do need to keep your eye out for it and you do need to yeah. look so obviously, how long have you been here at Harrow now? Uh, this is my fifth year. So fifth year, and did you intend to stay five years? And why are you still here? Is it because mm. Thailand is good, Harrow is good? So what have you enjoyed the most? Mm. I don't know if I, I probably didn't expect to stay for, yeah, for four, more than four years. I probably thought I'll do two, see how it goes. Um, but I just, I find, I like my lifestyle here. Um, so yes, the sort of your working day is hard and it's busy as usual. But actually, you can go to the beach for the weekend. Um, you know, I'm going to Japan for my Easter holiday. Um, you know, I've been to six weeks in China. I've been to Bali. I've been to Borneo. So actually, your your spare time for me, I think that's what's kept me here. My my spare time is yeah is is my spare time. Um, yeah, which is Thank you very much. <laughs>